is very genius and um, it brings people together. I, just, I really liked it a lot. Uh, it, I mean, it was informative, which is great. It was also fun. I thought it was tremendous. It was uh, really a powerful way to engage. Oh, it was fascinating. Uh, it really added an element um, that, uh, of excitement um, and kind of wow. Accessible and fun and energizing. Hi, my name is Dr. David Camp, and I'm an expert on using audience polling to make meetings better. The People's Plenary, what people were talking about, is an innovative way of opening a conference to get it, involve everybody, produce learning, and build a sense of community. And it's anonymous. We're going to ask you some questions. It's anonymous. We get to see the diversity in the room almost instantly. We get to see whether groups within our group see things differently. They're easy to use. We're going to show you a multiple choice question. You just press the number corresponding to your choice. There's nothing like immediate feedback tool like that provides that immediate feedback as well as uh, a great way to determine who's in the room and the perspectives in the room. How many times have you traveled around the sun? And so I thought that was a great way to break the ice. It was also a great way to kind of segue into the content of the conference. You're in a group of 500 people, so it's hard to kind of create some intimacy there or group bonding. But with the, the real-time data, you kind of do begin to form uh, a bit of that there in the room with the technology, so I think that's another benefit. The people kind of virtually in conversation with themselves. They, get, they understand, hey, listen, there are 39% of folks just like me. Or there are 39% of folks that are not like me that I want to get to know. And so the, the technology on the fly, doing that, and being able to aggregate and even cross-tabulate that data is really powerful. I think what it did for the group, I think it brought us together. Because we, all of us saw our collective responses. And we responded to those responses. Other issues around diversity is the income question. Now, it's anonymous, and you can hold the keypad close to your chest if you want to. That's OK. That's not one of those categories. Here's the question. What was your family income last year? Was it under 25,000? Press 1. 25K to 50K press 2. Sometimes with the responses that we would provide, you would get audible gasps from the room. I mean, so, you know, fun stuff, you know, and sometimes revelatory stuff. It did um, also provide, like, side conversations at our table where if you were most of the time sitting at a table with people that you didn't know, um, it gave you an opportunity to, oh, wow, I really didn't expect that. Or, you know, it did add in another element of an icebreaker. So, um, which comes closest to describing your political ideology? Mm. One, far left. Right. Two, mm -hmm. uh, six, hard right. Yep. And seven, the right left thing doesn't really work for your political ideology. You. Question number one, we're like, eh, I don't have my polling device, it's okay. Question number two, the minute you see the results, you're like, wait, who has a poll? Where can I get my device? And people want to wanna participate right away. Um, so to kind of bring it and make this content of this conference that interactive, I think it helped boost the mood. It lightened up the atmosphere. Um, David helped to do that with, uh, with his ca more relaxed, casual style, so it added some levity. The data gave us useful information um, and kept the, kept the meeting alive, you know. I loved it, man. And the music curation was something that cannot be understated. And I think that tool equalizes voice in a that was so important for this particular session. It was exactly what we needed to have in this space. If you want to augment your next conference meeting with the People's Plenary, let us know.